This is the Gosney Dome and it's brand new to Canada. It's been in the States for a little while now. It's available in Canada now and it is very impressive. It's a pizza oven, but it's a lot more than that. So you can certainly use it as a pizza oven, which it's phenomenal on. But in, on top of that, you can also use it to cook steak, bread, all sorts of stuff. I've been using it for the day today. I had it yesterday when I cured it. You have to warm it up first and then like cool down to get it ready to be used. It's a very impressive system. Uh, it's so well built. The I got with a base, which is very important if you don't have something built that you can put on but otherwise it has everything you need to get started this is the gas and wood version which is all that's available in canada as far as i know right now uh there might be in some places or eventually you can get just the the wood version but i really like the gas um it takes a little bit more work to get the wood going in this and it's obviously a little messier whereas the gas it's you plug it in you start using it, it it's amazing uh, the efficiency of cooking is fantastic. The Gosney Dome takes about 10 minutes to set up with two people or 30 minutes with the stand, which is sold separately. The stand is incredibly well made and sturdy and has lockable wheels so you can move it as needed. Gosney also sells a few great accessories including a cover to protect it, peels for moving food in and out of the oven, and a pizza rocker and tray. The thermometer lets you know exactly how hot the oven is, and it comes with two meat probes so you can plug them in for precise results. And this is of course the ashtray, so if you're cooking with wood, there's a spot inside where you can brush ash into the bin and then remove it once it's cooled off. On the back of the dome, you'll find the gas connection, and a large tank will last for a lot of cooking. After you set up the dome for the first time, you cure the stone in the oven by heating it up to around 450 degrees and leaving it for 30 minutes and then turning it off and letting it cool down slowly. Cooling down can take a few hours, so I cured it on one day and then cooked on it the next. You just need to make sure the stone is protected from rain, snow and bad weather to ensure it doesn't crack and lasts you a long time. The dome takes about 15 to 20 minutes to warm up depending on how hot you want to get it and cooking a pizza only takes about seven to eight minutes. I cook steak in about 10 to 15 minutes and potatoes took about 20 minutes. Bread and pizza can be cooked right on the stone and for meats and things, it's best to use a high quality frying pan like cast iron or steel. And I of course recommend high quality gloves, tongs and a pizza peel. The real trick with pizza is getting the dough floured enough that it will slide off your peel so you can place it in the oven. And just look at how amazing the pizza turns out. I promise if you like making pizza, you've never had pizza as good as this. And for steak, I cooked it so hot that the fat basically rendered off and it was soft like butter. What I love too is the fact that it goes up to 950 degrees Fahrenheit. Very impressive. Uh, something like a steak, putting it in at 600, 700 degrees. I've never had such a tender steak on a barbecue or anything else. I mean, you can get pretty good re results from a barbecue, obviously, but the temperatures you're cooking on this, it's it's incredible. And the flame licks the top of, of the, the dome. And so it actually is very close to the meat when you're cooking it. So amazing results. I, I'm very impressed. I also love just the fact that it comes pretty much easy to use like you you open it up you take it out you set up on your spot or on on top of your stand and then you basically just put in a couple there's a couple pucks that go on the inside one is for gas you cover the the basically the dust bin on one side the ember bin and on the other side is where the gas comes out so you cover the one that you're not using and then the gas has a little uh a little puck that goes around it to uh to to shape the flame. And so basically you put that in, you connect the gas and you're cooking. Very cool and Gosney provides their recipes so that you can kind of get started. Um, a lot of it's very similar to how you cook in a very hot oven or on a, a very good barbecue. And as well, the temperature control is really good. I was very impressed with how the temperature works. Just the fact that it can go very low, get it to like four or 500 degrees at the low end. You might be able to get down to 350 or something depending 
uh, on your setup and everything. And that goes all the way up to 950 if you crank it and uh, have a really good gas canister all set up and full and ready to go. Otherwise it has a little spot where you can put the wood in. And this is one of the meat probes that the dome comes with. You just plug in and you can check between the oven temperature and the meat thermometer. I think the sweet spot for cooking is around 600 degrees to 750 degrees, which works really well for meat, pizza, and vegetables. You may have to go a bit lower if you're working on bread. Getting exact results with wood can take a bit more patience, but as long as you have some small kindling, you can stack it inside, create some coals, and then push them to the side and start cooking in the middle. Here's a look at the domed chimney, which is light and durable. And there's a spot where you can have a steam injector, which is one of the accessories that's gonna be available down the road to inject moisture for making bread. This is a seriously well-made oven for home chefs who want something that will last a long time. While there are probably cheaper pizza ovens, none of them are made anything like the Gosney Dome. And I expect this oven would outlast them all by many, many years. And the quality of the accessories is as good as the dome itself. They're gonna last a long time. I love the pizza rocker and the peels. I'd recommend them over any other product that you can find. I have looked in a lot of stores and none of them are as well made as these, especially for the price. One last thing, but when you set up your dome for the first time, this is a peek at where the ignition battery goes on the back right side of the oven. The dome comes with a AAA battery that ignites the gas and you may need to replace it once every year or so, depending on the battery and how much you use it. So what do you think? Let me know if you have any questions. That's my review. I really am a fan. I think it's an incredible, like for anyone who loves to cook, I think it's an incredible system. The the whole thing works so well. They've got a lot of accessories. There's some already available. There will be more later on. And it's an incredible system to work with, to cook and to make amazing food. I have never made such great pizza steaks before. Uh, even the potatoes they made in it were phenomenal. It's, it's really well made and really perfect for cooking.